Hey guys, King Nerf here, and as you can see, today I have a review of something gigantic. So that means it's in the mega line, and I'm very excited for this because indeed it is the Mega Thunderbow. So um, I got this off of Amazon for 40 US dollars. So yeah. Um, I haven't unboxed the Amazon box yet, so you guys are getting two unboxings. So yeah, I'm gonna just snip all this stuff. Snip the rest of that tape. Place it on the side. Then I put a bunch of that junk, and then oh my god. The Mega Thunderbow. <laughs> so, first impressions, um, one word, gigantic. So, this is definitely a Mega <laughs> Thunderbow. So, yeah, going over the box, it's got the dude with the blaster right here. Open face box so you can actually touch the blaster. And Mega XD fires up to 100 feet. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm hoping that it actually does. Whereas the Centurion, it got like 50 ish. So yeah, that was a letdown. Um, yeah. So it says first nerf Mega Bow. Because this is the first bow in the uh, Mega line. So yeah. Um, we've got some new style Mega Darts over here. They say Mega on them, and only the front five do. The back five actually don't say Mega on them. Um, yeah. So it says Mega down the side. Um, mm -hmm. Whistler dart, scream through the air. So it, it's pretty cool. Um, big Elite logo down here, because in fact the Mega line is part of the Elite uh, line. Some caution stuff down here. Nerf logo up here. And yeah. So on the top, it's got some more stuff. The guy with the blaster and the Nerf logo. Then the side, we got guy or Nerf logo guy. Then on the other side, we've got bigger darts for bigger battles. And strike mega blasters. Feature bigger darts engineered for ultimate performance. Stretch the limits of, of blaster performance in the biggest nerf battle yet. So I reload with the mega darts. Mega darts for mega power. Yep. Mega darts refill so separately. So now getting on to the back. Um. Yeah, it's got some stuff about the mega thunder bow, like feel the power and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so, and one thing that I like with the new blasters is what they're doing is they're showing you the percentage of darts that actually go that certain distance. So here it's 42 darts, or 42% of the darts go, um, 90 to 108 feet, and then, um, 58% go less than 90, so yeah, um, We've got some diagrams of the blaster, um, flexing bow arms down there, um, what's that say? Pull and release string to fire darts. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, comes with ten, uh, comes with ten mega darts. Um, we've got stuff like that, fires dart up to 100 feet, um, yeah. Fires five mega whistler darts in all in a row without reloading, so that's pretty cool. Got the mega logo down the side, and yeah. Now, without further to do, I think I've covered everything. Oh yeah, and there's a nice little Hasbro logo down there because Nerf, in fact, is made by Hasbro. So yeah. Um, now let's get on to the actual unboxing of this. So there looks to be tape right there which somehow is already cut so yeah I'm just gonna cut this other little strip of tape and then the blaster and its stuff should should slide out hmm. all right I think it's 
coming. Alright, so, um, if you're gonna get this, make sure that you're strong enough to get it out of the box. I'm not saying that I'm not strong, I think I am pretty strong, personally. But, <laughs> I don't know why I'm having trouble getting it out of the box. Um, so yeah, I think I might just end up cutting the box. Which is what I'm doing now. rip the rest of the box here. I'm sorry for the unprofessional way I'm doing this, but... So, yeah. Um, there we go. Um, the Thunderbow in all of, the, all of its glory. Um, so, yeah. It looks like it's all in here by some twist size. So I'm just going to snip those. They are like those weird cardboardy ones that Nerf uses. So if you found a good technique on snipping those without like chipping paint on the blaster, uh, let me know. So yeah, that's all of that. And then, holy crap. Like, this thing is longer than one of my arms, just to give you an idea of how big this is. And so, yeah. Um, Jesus, that sounds powerful. So, yeah. I'm um, flipping it over. The Mega Darts should just come right out. Alright, yep, and I didn't have any issues with those as I did with getting the blaster out of the box. So it looks like I'm going to need to do those again, actually. Alright, so I'm sorry for the long unboxing. This thing was, like, pretty hard to unbox. Like, it wasn't hard, but it was long because it had a lot of difficult stuff. So, yep. We've got the instruction manual, which is actually fairly small, um, I have to say. So, yeah. Not that I need, the, I need that to know how this works. So, yep. And then we've got the, uh, Mega Darts. Yep, just as I suspected, five of them have this stuff, uh, the Mega on them. Then five of them are just the normal red Mega Darts, so, yeah. Um, that does it for the unboxing, and I will be right back in a sec with the review. So, yeah, sit tight, I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back with the review segment of this video, and the first thing that I noticed when I started playing around with the Mega Bow was that these bow arms, well, actually, first of all, before I talk about how it actually fire or primes and fires, um, I want to say that this thing is shooting about as hard as my modded Mega Magnus. So I am insanely, insanely impressed with the results. Um, so yeah. Um, so what I was talking about is that what I noticed is that these arms actually have something to do with the firing of the blaster. See, as you can see, when you pull this back, the arms come back, too. And then, what I'm thinking is that primes the blaster, because if you can see that little green tick mark right there, um, that's the priming indicator. So, yeah. What that tells me is that these arms are actually doing something to help prime the blaster. So, yeah. Um, and another thing that I noticed is that... Um, even if you let it forward slowly and slowly and slowly and slowly, like as you saw, I, I didn't let it go um, like entirely. So what that tells me is that this is uh, ah, operating under a uh, spring and catch system, which means that no matter how hard or far you pull the string back, it will always shoot the same uh, distance I guess so yeah 
Um, that's actually really great because I didn't think that it would do that. I thought that it would be more relying on how far and how hard you pulled the string back. So, yeah. Um, another thing that I noticed is that this thing is absolutely huge. And it's actually pretty heavy. Um, like, it's about as heavy as the demolisher um that's like the best blaster to compare it to um just judging going by like weight and stuff like that um so yeah um it is a very heavy blaster so yeah um another thing that i want to talk about is that it does not have any tactical rails which absolutely sucks <laughs> um i don't mean to be blunt but it does um, so yeah, um, I would say they would have thrown one, at, like, at least down here for, like, an assault grip or something, but actually, no, wait, never mind, <laughs> now that I think about it, that would be kind of pointless on a bow, so, yeah, just disregard what I just said, but I wish that they would have put, like, a side, side rail or somewhere, and then, moving on to the paint job, um, it's got the normal red, yellow, gray white uh, mega paint job um so yeah i'm honestly a big fan of the mega paint job um so i just personally love the red and orange they go great together so yeah um it says mega and white and thunderbow and black on this side but it says mega and gray on this side and thunderbow and red on that side so i think that's pretty cool and another thing that I want to touch on is that it's similar to the uh, rough cut where um, you don't have to load like all of the barrels for it to shoot. Um, say you just say you're in battle and you don't load the top one. You just load say the middle one like that. Um, it will still shoot. And it will still perform the almost the exact same. So, yeah. Um, another thing that I noticed is that the top two barrels are shooting a lot harder than the bottom three. And I'm guessing um, the reason for that is that the air supply or the plunger tube is up here in the blaster. So the air is getting dissipated more as it comes down here um, to fire these bottom three darts. So that's somewhat of a bad thing but it's not terrible um and another thing that i noticed is that i believe that you can prime the bow just by going like that and then letting go will shoot the bow so that's another thing that i realized and that that's another reason why i think that uh the uh bows are the reason for the priming so overall this thing i don't think is getting 100 feet probably getting more like 60 flat from the top two barrels and then maybe 50 or 45 flat from the bottom three so better than the centurion and about on par with the madness so yeah um another thing that i want to talk about is that this it will not break it's not elasticy or anything it's almost I would almost compare it to like shoestring material, um, and the kind it is. So, yeah. Um, moving on to ergonomics, the blaster is very ergonomic um, with the grip. It's like the perfect size for me. I'm a teenager, so yeah. Um, the string, these two red marks is where you're supposed to hold it, but I don't hold it there. <laughs> It's just not comfortable for me to hold it there. I hold it more up here. So, yeah. That doesn't really make a difference in the firing, but it's just something that I noticed. So, yeah. Um, another thing is the mobility issue of this. This is not a very war practical blaster, um, mainly because of the bow arms and just how gigantic they are. Um, they're not very realistic for going around tight turns and stuff like that. So, novelty, yes. Practical War Blaster, no. And I watched uh, 
Lord Draconical's video about like him trying to mod this thing, and it was like confusing and confusing. Like there was just so many confusing gears and stuff in here. So yeah, I will not be modding mine, and I will not be making a mod tutorial. So. Um, and for the rest of my blasters, I will be making mod tutorials for those of the ones that I have not modded already, so keep an eye out for those. Those should be coming in the next month or so. So yeah. Um, that'll do it pretty much for the Mega Thunder Bow, um, well for the review anyway. So if I were to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably give it an 8, just because of the fact that it doesn't have any tactical rails and it's just so gigantic. But the range and stuff of this is absolutely awesome. And I think that it's cool how it doesn't matter if you let go or if you go like, just like that. So, yeah. Um, that does it for the review segment. And now let's get on to the firing. All right guys, so I'm back with the Mega Thunderbow. And I'm gonna be shooting five level shots at that door over there so yeah that door is about 25 feet away so yeah I'm trying to go as level as I can it's very hard to aim this thing so yeah um as you can see on that last shot um that was actually not the dart that was me holding the blaster and after five shots I have to admit that my arm is fairly tired so yeah would I recommend getting this mega thunder bow uh, I would consider it but as a primary definitely not and that's the only thing that you could really use this for so yeah um, hit that red subscribe button if you want more awesome content and keep it tuned right here to King Nerf I'm sorry that this video is a little bit long but anyway I'll see you guys later peace out